So financial literacy has been something that I wish I would have learned more about during my school years. Because when I was, when I bought a house, my first house, I wasn't ready for a house. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what a, a balloon mortgage was, for example. And the realization that I would never be a homeowner if I continued that path was stark. And I wish that I would have learned sooner how to divide my money, how to put money into long-term savings. I remember having a class in seventh grade math that talked about the stock market. And it was all hypothetical. It was like, well, if you were to pick stocks, what would you pick? And I remember picking Apple, Nike, and a potato stock. I don't remember what company it was. But the reality was, what if I would have invested money into those in seventh grade? Can you imagine? So there's a part of me thinking somewhere on the other side of this country, there are seventh grade kids who actually can invest and have money to invest. How come I didn't have that opportunity, right? So now looking at my children, those are, those are things that I want to make sure I teach them because I want to make sure they are they are they have tools of empowerment to make good decisions. And life is the greatest teacher obviously, but wouldn't it be nice to actually have tools that we can pull whenever we need? So realizing that has put me on a path where I will be debt free in a matter of, of a couple of years. You know, I live within below my means and I know that my student loans, even though I had to borrow money for school, I also was able to secure $250,000 in scholarships. What if I could go back in time and say, okay, and a lot of the loans came because I had to be a resident in the U S for a year before I could apply to for in-state status. But that, if I would have had another somebody help me with that, I could have said, I could delay entry to college and not have any loans after, but I didn't have that guidance. My parents didn't know. And so I wish that I had somebody say, you know what, you could wait just one year and then be ready. You could delay admission for a year and then go in. I would have had a clean slate. Instead, I walked out with $40,000 worth of loans where I still earned $250,000, but it's still a big gap. So I managed to pay all those off and now I'm on my way to making sure that I pay my house off in 10 years. So things like that, where I really see an end goal in mind, I wish that that's something I would have learned earlier on. And that's not something that life just taught me because I lost a lot of money in, in the process. So I wish that I could go back in time and learn that since I can't, I'm going to focus on my children learning that if we want any change in our current system, there has to be a realization that Financial literacy is a core component of providing tools of empowerment for communities, and especially communities of color. You know, I think that that's my parents don't have a retirement plan, for example. That makes a difference, you know, and really thinking about that and transforming what our next generation looks like. It, it comes down to that. We have to get out of debt and we have to be able to utilize the tools that we have.